Detective John got a call from a village. A vampire family had moved into one of the houses. The detective wanted to prove, you know guys, that vampires don't exist. So John came to the village and he found the right street. Time to park. Boom. Three houses. John walked over to the house he thought was weird. Which one is it? Which house looks suspicious? A, B, or C? Look at the footprints. Weird, huh? They lead to and from houses A and C. Let's check it out again. To and from. So people come and go from these houses. Yeah, like just normal people, right? What about house B? The footprints only go in one direction. One direction. People come in, but they never get out. Ay, pretty suspicious and kind of creepy, don't you guys think? John rang the bell. Ooh, creepy spider. Whoop. Nice. The vampire's wife opened the door. A human at last! You have to help us! Someone attacked my husband, the vampire! Figure out who did it! Oh, time to save the day! 
John walked in and saw the vampire family. What do we got? What were you doing during the attack? Hmm. Alright, let's see the brother. I was sleeping in my coffin! And the little boy? I was cleaning my clothes and didn't see anything! And let's check out the wife's story. I was playing the piano! Got it! I know who attacked the vampire! So the detective knows. What about you? Who was the attacker? The answer? The attacker was the vampire's brother. He said he was sleeping in his coffin, but check it out. The coffin is too short for him. He was lying. The wife started hitting her brother-in-law. Wow, that got crazy really fast. Uh, it was a good time to leave. But the door was gone. Oh no, the vampire son was staring at John. And this family is all kinds of people. He had an evil grin, you know, for such a small vampire. Who's smarter, John or the tiny vampire? Time to find out. Hey, your mom said I helped a lot, and I could go now. Where's the exit? The vampire started to sing. Three more hive. Not so fast. So my riddle first. in this order. Huh. John solved the riddle. Can you? The words rhyme with one, two, three, four, five. Fun shoot three more high. That's why they're in this order. That was a good one. The vampire's son got angry. Man, this whole family's angry. The exit's there! But careful! There's poisonous gas in the first room! Man, there's always poisonous gas. It'll burn your skin and lungs! There's a 300 pound weight above the second door! As soon as you step inside... It'll crush you! There's a hungry tiger waiting in the third room! Wow. John thought for a moment. Let's see what he's gonna do. Which room did John choose? took off his shoes. Aha! He put it on the floor of the second room. Boom! The weight fell on the shoe. <laughs> and John ran into the room and closed the door. Just in time, the vampire's wife was getting hungry. Man, she's angry. Watch out, John! John was in a big room. There was a chest. There's a lot of skulls there, guys. Inside was an invisibility cloak. Ooh, nice. We get Harry Potter up in here. The vampires were smashing on the door. Time to go. Yeah, obviously. John grabbed the cloak. There were three tunnels leading from the room. Time to choose the right one. Let's see. A rail car is speeding around inside. 
John might get run over. What about number two? Dangerous and hungry lions are roaming around. A lot of animals in this house. And there's a deadly knight guarding the entrance of the third one. Hmm. What should John do to escape? Okay, guys, the answer? The invisibility cloak won't help against the rail car. The lions can still smell and attack John. John should choose the third tunnel. He can put on the invisibility cloak and sneak past the night. All right, John got out of the vampire house. He's free. But wait, uh-oh. Oh man, he lost the invisibility cloak. Twilight is here. Guys, do you know what that means? That means the vampires can go outside and they are angry. They're still hungry for John. He's gotta run. John ran and he fell into a hole. Whew! Wait for the hat. The vampire family was on one side. Oh, he can just escape on the other side. There was still time for John to escape. Get out of there, man. But zombies came out of the forest. They blocked him in. He was trapped. John hid in the hole till morning. Till early morning. Which side should John escape out of? The vampires or the zombies? Vampires are dangerous in the morning. Duh. John should choose their side. Well, okay. So Detective John was totally wrong. Vampires exist. How can he help the village get rid of the vampires? Share your ideas in the comments.